Hey guys, and welcome to my May favorites. Can you believe it's already been five months? Where does the time go? I swear to God, it's just going by. But anyway, this is probably going to be a pretty long video. So go get something to eat, get a snack, get tea, a drink, energy drink. Go get something because this is going to be a long video. I'm going to try and not make it so long. But just in case, go get something to eat. Trust me. See? 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 My favorite thing to drink. Should I be drinking it? Not really. I don't care. It makes me happy. That's all that matters. Anyway. Okay. Favorites. Where to start? I don't know. I'm winging it. Okay. I'm going to start with two hair products first and then, you know, get that stuff out of the way before we go into cosmetics. I mentioned, I think in my last favorites video, that I really liked this Garnier Fructis. It's supposed to be the Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist, and it's supposed to be a 48-hour straight straightening finish. <laughs> and I absolutely love this stuff. The stuff smells amazing. Now, it's counterpart that you're supposed to technically use first. I don't think I have my hands, you know, near where I could grab it, but it looks like this, and it's in its own tube. And it's the Garnier Fruti Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Flat Iron Express. Don't try and say that five times fast because you're not going to make it. <laughs> but this has got Brazilian Muru Butter. Okay, I know I just butchered that. And Argon Oil to, uh, let me see, for difficult to straighten hair. But trust me, I got it. And it, you know, the rest of my hair is like, okay, but it's always like around here. It's like, I can never get that like perfectly straight. Part of me thinks I'm just going to have to like flip my hair upside down and straighten it that way. But anyway, this stuff is also amazing. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use this first. Use maybe a dime to a quarter, depending on how thick your hair is and how long your hair is. And, um, you blow dry your hair first. Okay. So that's out of the way then you got this one you spray in your hair right as you're getting ready to put the strand iron up to your face okay this stuff is amazing as well and you come out with the most smooth hair and it's straight I love these two and at least it's drugstore you know those are definitely my go-to's okay next one this is, and I just got this. I know I did this in a haul, but it looks like I used a lot of it. This is the Secret Invisible Solid Scent Expressions Va Va Vanilla. And it looks like this, and it smells amazing. And I think I even said this in my last video. If I knew this wasn't going to kill me, I probably would have tried to eat it. Because it smells like a vanilla-infused white chocolate bar. Like... I'm not kidding. Now, the only issue I have with this is actually not with the product itself. It's when you go outside when it's sunny, all the bugs are following you. And she's like, ooh, okay, sweet. We will, we will go that way. That's the only issue I have with this. Otherwise, it does everything it's supposed to do. I still don't think that would stop me from wearing it. Just say it. But anyway, okay. I do believe I, pur uh, I purchased. I do believe I had these in last month's video as well this is lucky you by the lucky brand this is a fine fragrance mist and it's eight fluid ounces do believe i paid um nine or ten dollars for it at walmart and this stuff smells amazing oh my god i love this stuff and you know i really want to do a room tour but because it is in my master bedroom i kind of don't want to show you like everything if you know what I mean because <laughs> I have stuff scattered like I have my vanity then there's my husband's dresser and then a window and then some more of my stuff so it's kind of like you'd see like everything I'm still trying to figure that out but anyway I love this um Walmart had tons of these I think I even got one from uh One Direction and I don't listen to the band but that stuff smelled good let me tell you, it had like a, I love the packaging. I think I'm going to do a video of like best packaging because that's definitely on it. Okay, this one I got at 
Big Lots. And this is tattooed by Inky. And it's kind of like the, uh, I don't want to say a dupe, because it's not a dupe. It's close, but it's not a dupe. Um, for the Ed Hardy um, um, perfume I'm, for women, I think is what it is. And it smells so delicious. You got fruit, and I kind of just sprayed that in my mouth. But I don't care, because it smells good. Um, it's definitely fruity and sweet. So if you're not into that kind of thing, you're not going to like that. But it is, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Got five products knocked down. I'm ready to keep going. Okay. These, I know I've talked about till I'm blue in the face. These are the L'Oreal Paris Ide Ideal Clean Makeup Removing Towelettes. And they gently cleanse and remove all kinds of makeup, even waterproof mascara. And they look like this. And if you don't, if you don't believe that I don't like these, I think I have like three left. I already bought another one. Well, technically my husband bought me another one. But I, I'm obsessed with these. When I do an empties video, there's probably going to be like five or six of them in there. I'm not even joking. And these come with 25 in each. <laughs> but they're so good. I think they're like $5.99. I can't, I love these. I absolutely love them. No, you need to go here. Okay, let's see. We'll go into primers. Um, this one I've mentioned once or twice. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Combo Skin. I absolutely love this. I haven't found a primer that actually works as good as this. And, you know, I know I swear by Maybelline because I really do. That is like my ride or die drugstore brand is Maybelline. If they came out with brushes, that... That would be it. That'd be it. That'd be it. But, um, their primers are okay. Um, but I like this one more. I, I don't know what it is. I can't say that it prolongs my makeup, but it helps me not to look so shiny in my face. And I know a lot of people are like, well, just use a translucent powder. It's going to make me look too dry. And then they're like, well, use a setting spray. No, I will do it my way. <laughs> Makeup has no rules technically, but let me tell you, everybody's going to tell you something. But anyway, I absolutely love this. This will be a repurchase for me. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, my other primer. Here we go. This one I got, I have to give props out to Emily Noel 83 I get a lot of my stuff from her recommendations. Like, she's, she's definitely probably about half of what all my makeup is upstairs because let me tell you she she will tell you like it is <laughs> and she's so nice and so sweet but you know she get she tells you you know no this will not work for your skin type but this will I, I love that in her she she's very sweet um, but anyway, I got this from her. This is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And I think they only come in one shade. I could be wrong. I haven't seen this in any other shade. This is an 01 Nude. And it looks like this. Absolute fan. Because I was thinking, almost $8 for a freaking eyeshadow primer when I was using the Wet n Wild one. I'm like, it better do something. And it does. It definitely does prolong my eyeshadow. I've had my makeup on. Um, let me see almost eight hours almost eight hours and I still have glitter right here as a liner I still have all my shadows everything absolutely this is a must-have I think that's another video I'm gonna do is the must-haves at the drugstore I know a lot of people have done it but I'm gonna do mine that that just that just worked there okay Another thing for the eyes, also got this from her. This is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream, and it looks like this. Now, it is a little bit more expensive for the drugstore. Well, not for eye creams. Eye creams, they're expensive. Um, this, I think, was like $13, $12 or $13. But I've had this since last year, I want to say, since like September, October time frame. And it, let me see. Over here, looking it up in the light. I've only used this whoop, this much of the product, and I love the fact that you don't need that much when you when you use it. And it gives you like you know that little tip. You need maybe like slightly bigger than a pinpoint 
not very much more I mean it's just silky and smooth I use this at night over my other stuff because you can use this yeah yeah you can use this AM and PM this is great I love this this will be a repurchase for me spending $13 on an eye cream that lasts me that long makes me happy and I think it makes my husband happy as well <laughs> but anyway um let me see let me see okay I'm gonna go into eyeshadow okay now I have three things for eyeshadow that I'm looking at this was also also Emily Noel 83 this is physicians formula oh god let me see matte collection quad eyeshadow and this is in Canyon classics I I think she uses I think she actually has all of them to be honest with you but she just did a video on these and originally when you know I was doing makeup just me honestly maybe about a month ago maybe month or two I just started getting more into matte than shimmers or glitter I'll put glitter in for that one this is amazing this is what I'm wearing on my eyes the only glitter that's there um let's see if I can find it while I'm talking these are great shades they give you a medium brown a light brown a light um, creamy shade and like a charcoal gray is what they give you in this palette and evidently there's like four I think three or four of them and I'm in search for them I think I may have to um, order it from um, 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 Ulta because I think Ulta has them come on it's not that hard to find something in a bag right maybe I could be wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna still talk while I'm looking for this thing. Okay, the next two eyeshadows are um from L'Oreal Paris and they look like this. These are the infallible shades that they came out with. And this one here is an endless pearl. And then I have another one that is in Eternal Sunshine. And it looks like this. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to blind you guys. But it's very pretty. Um, they have a variety of these things. I'm actually, don't mind me. Um, 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 um. I think I have another four upstairs. I really do like these. I have, um, I think coming into bloom is one that I have as a nice purple shade. Get down. <sighs> okay, so the, um, of course I would find it now. Um, Coming into bloom, there's an emerald shade that I have. Um, oh God, there's another gold shade. Oh, I can't think of it. And then there's the bronze shade that I have. I absolutely love these. Um, these, <laughs> the cat's being weird. Um, these are definitely compacted. I think they're almost, they say they're kind of like pigmented eyeshadows, which they must be if they give you this little piece in here to hold it and that's what it looks like and it's a gorgeous I'm trying to see there you go it just looks like gold poured into a container let me tell you if I could pass that off I think I tried to <laughs> but um the shades are amazing I love the shade range I mean you can go anywhere from extremely light which I think this is the lightest shade I'm getting ready to show you to like an, a very dark like purple black whatever and that's what this one looks like it really is just like the color of my skin and that's basically what I use it for I kind of use it as like a shadow base um I I love these I I don't know what else is where did it go okay come on okay I'm back possibly maybe <laughs> anyway I really do like these now the glitter I was trying to tell you that's on my you know inside here is actually this duo here this is from Revlon it's the photo ready eye art so like you have your regular shade here which it's a pretty shade I just don't like the formula to it like it dries up quicker than you can blend it out or at least for me and then you have Z Glitter. And I love this stuff. I really do. I like the glitter more than I like the shade. And I know this is 
this isn't technically in my favorites, but I might I might as well just go ahead and put it in there anyway. That is your glitter. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's see. Any more eye stuff? I got mascara. Oh, okay. Here's a big thing. You ready for a drum roll? I found a new Holy Grail mascara. <gasps> but anyway, it's from the same brand, so don't get cocky on me. And I love the packaging on this. This is Maybelline's Lash Sensational Luscious, Luscious mascara and this isn't even in waterproof and it does not smear love this and look at the packaging like can we just talk about the packaging for a minute a sleek black and a pretty nice light pale pink she uh, sheer shouldn't you know you know you get me and it's shimmery when you get it into the light look at that this thing is amazing I love this thing. Like, I never thought I was going to, you know, get out of the one that I had, which is the original Lash Sensational. And that's what the brush looks like. The other one is curved. And it looks like that. I absolutely love this. Now, I will make a disclaimer now. This is a very wet formula, so if you do not like that, you will not like this mascara. Um, I honestly do not like wet you know formulas either but I really do like this um yeah it holds up I have not had it smear and it's funny because I had a little bit of black right here and come to find out it was my eyeliner it wasn't my mascara so but this is an absolute favorite repurchase yes and I'm actually even gonna buy the waterproof version because I just want to see you know the difference because I usually have an issue with waterproof but if I can get it waterproof and it works then I'm not gonna have an issue but uh, oh okay here's another thing I did a test and I think I should do it uh, well if I'm gonna tell you you know a test may not be in order here but um I did a test one night I took all my makeup off right before bed I put this on my left eye on my right eye I put another Maybelline mascara on and I went to bed woke up this one right here was still holding on strong it was not sticky there was no flakes there was no nada on the, it was just as good as I put it on before I went to bed the other one let me tell you between the flakes and my, the you know your stuff getting sticky and it is a mess but um, I'm almost thinking about doing a video just for the hell of it. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that. No, you're not going to watch me sleep. I will have my camera turned off. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video like that. Okay, now we're going to get into bronzers, blushes, and highlights. Okay, so the only bronzer I have listed, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, is my butter bronzer from Physicians form Formula. Just by opening this, you get that whiff. Oh my God, I love this. And it is a warmer bronzer. I usually don't like those, but I absolutely love this. And that is what I'm wearing today. I mean, it's not as, I mean, you can make it strong if you wanted it to, if you wanted to. But I didn't do too bad. And this has been going on eight hours and it's still there. Woo, hello. But anyway, I love this. And just the smell alone. It really does smell like a pina colada and suntan lotion. <laughs> Absolutely a favorite. And I would, you know, repurchase this. Um, mine is in the shade bronzer, but I don't think it is in any other shades. If it is, let me know in the comments below so I don't look like an idiot when I make a video um about that bronzer but that's an absolute favorite i love it i even put my wet and wild one away the only reason why it comes out is because i need the um the uh uh whiter whiter shade and that duo that's it but anyway well i guess i should save the high let me see i only have one highlighter but anyway i have three blushes all from the same company this is
I don't know what the flippy happened, but evidently my camera shut off and said my memory was full. <laughs> I'd like to hear that one, really. But anyway, I was trying to show you, before we got rudely interrupted, was the shade of My Type by You Drink by Wet n Wild. And it is this one right here. If you guys can pick that up, hopefully, maybe. Very pretty color. These do not smell or anything like that, so you shouldn't have an issue. The next one is just the regular uh, color icon. This one is in Rose Champagne. Ooh. And it looks like this. I absolutely love this, especially when I'm going for a bronzy look. I won't wear like a peach blush. I will wear this. Yes, it is shimmery, so if you don't like that and you got large pores and you don't want to accentuate them, you will not like this. But they say makeup doesn't have any rules, right? I do have pores and I do like stuff like this and I will wear it when I want to. So anyway, has an issue with it, I don't care. Anyway, very soft and smooth. Let's see. It's almost similar to the um, the other one. It's right here. I'm over here trying to see if where if these are even coming up. They almost look muted out. I wonder if it'd be different if we. Well, I got swatches over here, people. <laughs> that was from another video that I did. So. But let me see. Let me see if it'll look different. If it'll look different, we'll do it over here. Okay, that is the Rose Champagne. I really do like this when I do a bronzy look. Usually I do like a regular peach, um, pe not peach, pinky, you know, um, blush because I do have a natural flush. Even when I wear foundation, whether it's liquid or powder, you will see I have a light flush right in here. I used to hate it growing up. I, I did. I'm not going to lie. I hated it growing up. But anyway, this one should not be new to anybody. This is the Wet n Wild by Fergie. This is the Center Stage Collection. And this is her highlighter in Hollywood Boulevard. I absolutely love this. Um, there is a rumor going around that this is a, um, a dupe for, um, Champagne Pop. Now, I don't know. I don't own Champagne Pop. I'm actually tempted to order her. I really want to order her palette. $54, I think it is, for, you know, um, 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 um. um. I'll get it out in a minute. $54 for a palette to me seems very steep. It's the same thing with, you know, is it Too Faced? Or, no, Urban Decay has theirs for $54. I think that is extreme for a palette. Now, everybody always says, well, you know, it's the quality of ingredients. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to see if I can do this or you can actually see it but it looks like I'm kind of but I've been told this is you know a dupe for champagne pop and that is it right there look at that ain't that party and honestly if it was <laughs> I think I might have struck cold to be honest <laughs> but I think I am going to try and purchase her palette um, I know it's probably going to go by quick I've already seen reviews on her palette on YouTube. Um, so, we will just see how that goes. Um, I know, I think, two out of the four products she came out with are limited edition. Which, the palette and her eyeshadow palette, I think it's like $90 for both. And I'm over here like, oh my god. What, is it made out of liquid gold? Like, I really would like to know. <laughs> but I have followed her for a while. She was one of the first people I was watching. And she, she's a riot. I mean, she, she's a, she is a trip on YouTube. I will say that. Um, but I definitely think I am going to try and pick that one up. Because, you know, not just to support a YouTuber, but because I really would like to try the real champagne pop. So, and then I love, I don't know if anybody has seen her, the little videos for these yet. But, like, the eyeshadows and the uh, new highlighter she came out with, everything, is all 
named after liquor. I love that. <coughs> I would even get it just for that. Her her highlighter is Prosecco Pop. She's got a cognac shade. She, I think I think one is a wine shade. She had all sorts of things. I'm thinking that is I like that. That is me in a palette. So I really think I am going to try and get that. Anyway, I know that totally went way off where we were going. But anyway, um, my I'm going to go into foundations and. This one is a powder foundation. This is a L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Powder. And they said that this is a warm. I don't see it being warm, but it's okay. And yes, I've definitely hit pan on this bad boy. I love this one. And the other L'Oreal one I have, I've hit pan on that one too. So I'm over here, I'm testing them both out to see which one I would prefer to purchase over the other. Because I think this one's like $11. The other one is like $16. So, but I'm comparing the shades, and this one actually seems to be lighter than the other one. But anyway, I do absolutely love this. I've been using this quite a bit. Obviously, if I've had if I've hit pan on it, I've been using it quite a bit. And this is in W2 Light Ivory. Love this thing. I think I might end up repurchasing that one. Okay, my other two foundations. So, I did pick out two just because one is different than the other. Max starting to hurt. Okay, so this one is by Elizabeth Arden. This is the Intervene Makeup SPF 15. And this is in the, sh in the shade Soft Shell 2. And it, no, your bottle does not come in like this. It actually comes in like a frosty glass with a black pump. And I think the, the look top to it is gray. And you're probably thinking, how do you know all that? I used to work there. And I used to work for Elizabeth Arden at Macy's. But anyway, I love this. And originally, I like their Ceramide line. They came out with one. I still have that upstairs as well. It comes in like a little cup almost with like a, uh, a gold lid. And that one was one of the expen most expensive ones we, we had. But I love them. I really do. I'm very tempted to go back and work for Macy's. I really do miss it. I mean, some of the people I don't miss, I miss my job. And it was all around makeup. I mean, what woman who doesn't love makeup would love to work in a place with makeup? Just saying. But anyway, I use this when I don't want like any glow on my face. This is what I use, and I guess the term for that would be I want to be matte. That's this one. Love this one. I even talked about that, I think, in my last one. Now, if I would like to have a luminous glow, I use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. And this has got SPF of 20, and this is, I guess, in a warm version of... Where'd it go? One, one to two, and this porcelain to light ivory. And that's what it looks like. And I'm sorry, this does not look like light ivory to me. This definitely is a warm shade. <laughs> it definitely was not light, but I love this. And the one thing I love about any foundation, it comes with a pump. Ooh, put them up. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I love this. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, I'm going to get into eye, eyes and eyebrows. The one thing I got listed for eyes, I only got, I only put up one eyeliner. Reason being is because the new favorites I have, I haven't used them the entire month. So I don't know if there's going to be, you know, a difference between now and then. So I don't want to put them in. I thought that would be kind of wrong. But this one is my Maybelline New York lasting drama waterproof gel pencil and lustrous sapphire and i absolutely love this pen i pen pencil or gel whatever you want to call it i found three or four other liners i don't i think they were for maybelline but i'm not sure i'm going to order them next week but look at that i don't care who you are that is a gorgeous blue. And I would wear it even though I have blue eyes. You know, that's kind of how I grew up, you know. You were told not to wear, you know, the color of your eyes on your lids. Well, all, anywhere on your eyes. I love this as liner. I don't, I will say, I don't use actual blue eyeshadow. I might start. I picked up um, 
a Milani um, Bella Eyes one. I think it's the Cobalt Blue is what they call it. That's a pretty shade. I may just do it like in my inner, my inner water, my, my waterline, you know what I mean. I, I'm tempted to try with the two colors I have. I have the silver and I have the blue. Maybe a look coming on. We shall see. Okay. Next thing is by Maybelline. This is the Brow Define and Fill Duo in Soft Brown. So right here, you have your liner. Very fine tip liner, which I absolutely love. Because me, I'm more heavy-handed, so I more like to break it or put way too much on. So that definitely works for me. And then on this side, it's got like a little spring. So this little tip here has your powder. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I put it on my knuckle. Um, this little tip here will go inside. And you do one of those. And it puts more powder on there for you. I love this thing. I don't know where that's been my whole life. I think that actually came out uh, either beginning of this year or last, like the end of last year. That's definitely new. But anyway, this one I could not not put in here. I got this in... Oh, Jesus. I think it was BoxyCharm. And I know this was only a week away. And I know I wasn't going to put anything in. This is, was the one thing I had to put in. I put it on my brows all the time. I never thought in a million years I would want to put something like that on my eyebrows. And this is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. And it's clear, water-resistant eyebrow gel. And it looks like this. So, obviously, it's a regular mascara wand clear liquid there's nothing else on it so the only thing you do you know let's do one of these kind of make it you know even and there you go I love this stuff it doesn't make them crunchy it does make them a little hard is that is that yeah just a little and it's just to keep them in place but you can't tell I have it on can you no and I will repurchase this. I don't remember how much this is, but I will look it up because I am going to get another one. Alrighty. This probably should have came a little sooner. Um, concealer. I know we totally went opposite directions. This one is by Maybelline. This is the uh, Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. And this is in 10 Ivory. And I absolutely love this. This is definitely a multitasker for me because I don't have to just use this as concealer. You can use it as a highlighter. It doesn't matter. Um, but I actually have a darker shade than this. I think it's 30, 30 light medium, something like that. I'll actually use both of them to not just conceal, but to do my whole face for foundation. Where I don't have to use a heavy foundation or anything of that nature. And it will completely cover. Absolutely love these. Um, are they waterproof? I won't. It doesn't say anything about waterproof. Usually you set a concealer. But I absolutely love these. I no, I love those. Okay. My last. Well, let me do this one first before I talk lip products. We're almost down. We're down the, you know, we're down the home stretch here. This right here has been my saving grace. No, it is not the original Beauty Blender. This and it's still, you know, a little damp. And actually, I think... It would be a little bit bigger than this. It is a little damp, but it's not its full size. Now, I paid $4 for this sponge here, and it's been my saving grace. I love this thing. And it does the same thing as Beauty Blender. You put it underneath, you know, the water. You squeeze it a couple times, and it'll expand. Make sure you drain all the water out as you can. And here's a trick for that. Take, like, a hand towel, you know, something like this a hand towel put it in there and squeeze and as long as you don't hear you know any squeaking you're good this is just as fluffy as the beauty of wonder and i felt one you know this thing works and i'm sorry for four dollars that beats paying 20 some odd dollars for a beauty blender it might not have the same texture and that one looks like it has like a whole bunch of like itty bitty like little craters kind of around this this doesn't this is completely soft and don't mind it being dirty I did I did use this today but it is soft like baby bottom soft this stuff is good love it 
and things. I'm tempted to buy a beauty blender just to prove that that one's still better. Okay, lip products. Here we go. This one I got in my birch box. This is Model Co. Lip Lacquer in Morocco. And it looks like this. Obviously, it's a, um, a uh, sample size. Oh my god, I cannot get enough of the smell. <sighs> it smells like strawberry and grapes, like made a baby. Oh, it smells so good. I'd put it on my lips, but I'm, I actually have a liquid lipstick on. Um, I don't know which video is going to go up first, but it is in a haul. I might as well just say it anyway. I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Pure Hollywood is what this one is. And I actually really like it. Very pretty color. Okay. Next one. If I don't use the Erin, the small little tube that's like the rose thing, I will use this. This is the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Lip Balm. I also got this from um, Emily Noel 83 You know what? Part of me is thinking that I should just like post on my video that this is like a, you know, a tribute to her because most of them are, f I got it from her. I never heard of Burt's Bees when I came to the States. And it really does smell like vanilla. That stuff smells really good. Okay. I use that at night. You can use it throughout the day. It doesn't matter. I always try and put something on my lips overnight. So between that and the Erin. And I have like five or six others of those Burt's Bees. I have like the the pink grapefruit. Um, oh God. There was a coconut one. There's a pear. Yeah. I have a whole bunch of them. Okay. This one I've talked about until I'm blue in the face. And you can actually tell that I'm starting to run out of product. And I'm going to need to get a new one. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in 215 Supernatural. I love this. Oh my goodness. I love this. And this would actually be really pretty going over top Pure Hollywood. Now that I'm kind of swatching it right there. I guess if it was too drying you can put a gloss over it. I mean I wouldn't see what the, the problem is. Right there is... Um, 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 supernatural. That would be really nice, um, over the pure Hollywood. You know what? Let's just go ahead and we will try. I'm going to move you a little closer because I'm kind of comparing my camera to my, uh, my mirror behind you. I don't see a problem. I think it just gives it a nice gloss. Quite pretty. I like it. Okay. I'm going to slide you guys back. <laughs> yes, that is definitely a repurchase for me. And I have Sky Pink is another one that's really pretty. Okay. Here's... People already knows what these are, right? This doesn't need, like, any explanation. This is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. And, well, a lippy stick, anyway. Um, I did purchase the matte ones, the matte X version. I do like those, but I'm really stuck on this one. And this one is a collaboration with Coffee Break with Danny, And she did an amazing job on this. I love this. This is basically a pinky nude. And it's called Frida. It's a pretty color. And it, and it is a satin. And it looks like that. That is stunning. And, you know, I don't know when this came out. I didn't start doing YouTube for like two or three months ago. Well, at least my channel anyway. I've been watching for a while. But I found her after I started watching her channel. So I don't know how long this has been out for. But I definitely plan on going to her channel and giving her a shout out that this thing is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's not drying by any means. It's just, it is very pretty. I absolutely love that. Okay, my last three products, guys. Okay, so these are from Revo. Um, from what I heard, these have been going around all the drugstores. Evidently, Walgreens has had them, CVS has had them. Now, it's Target's turn to have them. And they look like this. They're like, a, they're almost like a dupe for the EOS lip balms. I love these things. And they smell amazing. Like this one here. And see, they look like little honey pots. 
and you're probably thinking, Kim, you're going overboard with it. But, you know, my husband, you know, says, like, my nickname is Bear. So, for me, a honeypot just kind of, you know, goes hand in hand. But this one, this is Akai Berry, and it smells amazing. And you know what? I got to admit, I can wear Sorry about this, guys. My camera is cut off three times now just during this video. So evidently, it's pretty aggravated at me. But I have three more. It's from the same thing. And then I will let you guys go. And unless you've already decided to leave, which, hey, whatever floats your boat. But these um, little lip, uh, lip balms, these are called Revo lip balms. They're just kind of like a, another version of like the EOS lip balm. Um, the only difference is, is that these are like in the shape of little honey pots, and I think these things are so cute. And that there is five all together, which I have all. Of, I think it's five or six. I have all of them, and they smell so amazing. Um, this one is Akai Berry. Oh, I love this thing, and I also use these at night as well. Um, they do last pretty much until morning. Um, my next one, I think this is the Dragon Fruit. Mmm. Yes, it is. And it smells so good. And they go on clear. I actually like these a little better than the EOS lip balms because these go on like more creamy and it's not thick. So it's not like your lip, you know, you definitely feel you got something on. But those are, that one's good too. This one here is watermelon. And I love this. You got the outside green and then it's like a little pink little center. It's so cute. And I think this is watermelon kiwi. It smells so good, and they they work just as well as the EOS, if not better. I really do like these. Well, that is it. It's probably been like an hour, <laughs> but anyway, let me know in the comments below what your favorites for um, the month of May were. Let me know there's something I need to try, and this, that, and the other. And you can tell if you watch this entire video that I have come up with like three or four different little video ideas. I'll see if I can pull them off next week. We will see. All right, guys. Well, you take care. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm not actually even sure when this video is going up. But have a wonderful day, evening, what have you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.